This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Hockey presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Wex and Cadillac for third period action. Jeff Castillo along with Bill Dooley. And Jeff, we got uh, some information maybe we can cover from Friends of the Wex right now. Yeah, the Friends of the Wex uh, on a big campaign here. Donate today to protect tomorrow. They are uh, initially trying to you know, fundraise about $150,000. Um, they've got some rink improvements that desperately need to happen. Uh, the ice maker compressor has gone out on them. We're currently renting one right now uh, just to have ice uh, for the season. And uh, so we're on a big kick to uh, try to raise some money. We need to replace the ice rink compressor system, secure the future of hockey and Cadillac, support community wellness through open skate and fun ice <coughs> skating events. And they're asking for donations uh, to be donated to the Wexford Civic Center Recreation and Facilities Fund. Uh, CACF, Friends of the Wex in the memo. So all donations are tax deductible. Boone Sports Management is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. So, uh, you know, we're really trying to, you know, secure hockey in this town. Uh, a lot of other communities depend on it. We've actually gotten some donations, like from other uh, associations, yep. Sheboygan, I believe Petoskey put together some money and they're sending it yep. down. So it not only affects us, but it, it affects uh, a lot of other uh, communities in northern Michigan. Yeah, very important uh, fundraising right here. And, and I, I had an idea, Jeff. I was wondering if maybe you could donate part of your contract, uh, sign your bonus signing with uh, 26 Sports and CCTV. That might get us a quarter of the way there. You uh, never know. It, that's got to be close. Okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Okay. We have even, nope, we have a power play for Traverse City starting the third. We're underway. Alan Shear tips it back to Caleb Barshef, number six, over to Adam Boudry. Boudry at center ice. He'll dump it in. First one, two, it'll be Austin Pendrick. And Pendrick, that one is nicely intercepted at the blue line by Barshef. Hayden Watkins in the corner fighting with it, fighting for it. And uh, Austin Pendrick loses it. Coming out of the corner is Essman. Back to the point to Boudry. Boudry to Beeman, Nick Beeman in the corner, Tyler Essman, now he'll walk out, take the shot, and covering up is Seth Van Newkirk. Kirk. We have a shout out to Trudy Fowler, who is Nick Beeman's grandma. So uh, hello to Trudy Fowler, and Nick Beeman has scored a goal for his grandma. Isn't that something? Yeah, actually we uh, weren't able to mention that, uh, but Nick Beeman did get the Traverse City goal as a bit of a tip-in off one of the Cadillac players with uh, assist from number nine, Luke Brady. So that was their lone goal. And boy, that one just hit the post and hit came right post. out. That's a couple posts tonight. I didn't I didn't even hear the noise, Jeff. I almost thought it went in at first because it was so quiet right. on, the, on the play. Well, it certainly wouldn't have bounced out that quick off of any kind of netting. We got a tripping call against. Well, the penalty boxes have been busy tonight. It's got to be Traverse City, right? Adam Boudry, number 24. Yep. We'll get the call. Can sit down and have a coffee. And now it's back to even strength for 23 seconds. And then the Vikings will have the power play. It's one to one here in the third period. So uh, every power play is very important right now. Yeah, and the Vikings, uh, I, I don't think they've got a problem with four-on-four four hockey. They've nope. actually excelled at that tonight, so we'll see what happens. So Fisher Moore will take the face off against Andrew Rickenberg. And the funny thing is, with all the penalties that we've had tonight, you know, the last period we only had uh, a total of seven shots, four by TC West and three by the Vikings. That's really amazing it when is. you think about it. Vikings to play it back, yeah. Superior penalty killing, apparently. Yes, and uh, maybe some misguided shots that never hit the net. A little bit of both, I believe. Traverse City West putting a little pressure on in the zone, and the Vikings will break out three on two, but getting back to play it is Wavin. In the slot, that is 
Brian Farley, who has the lone Cadillac goal, plays back to the point to Austin Pendrick. Pendrick to Shear. He lost it. And clearing the puck is uh, Rickenberg. Rickenberg looks like he got shook up there a little bit. Yeah, he was in a little bit of a collision there with Schmidt deal. Fisher Moore up the boards to Brian Farley. Met there nicely by Josh Reese. Good defensive play, and Traverse City will put it down the ice and stopped by Seth Van Newkirk, the goalie for the Vikings, who's had a really strong game. Austin Pendrick, number six, with the pass to Schmidt deal. Schmidt deal lost it, but then Shear takes it, shoots it wide. Alex Leotard had a chance. Just under his stick. Watkins with the shot around the boards, keeping it in is Pendrick. Leotard, number two. That pass did not connect, and Grigsby thought he had it. Puck is played back out to Alan Shear. Shear in the corner to Leotard. He does not see the puck. Alan Shear has it back to the point, kept in by Eller. And that play will be kept in. Here's a big shot that's deflected, and Grigsby stayed with it. Yeah, good deflection there by Leotard. Cadillac getting a little something going here. Tried to jam it in the short side was Leotard. And a big hit there. Finally, we're at full strength, and Traverse City will clear the zone. Brandon Eller, number 19, dumps it in. 13.40 to go here in the third period. We're all knotted up at one. Jeff Castillo and Bill Dooley bringing you the action. Here's an icing call against the Titans. And all right, Jeff, what do we have here? Okay, well, we just wanted to mention, uh, you know, playoff time is just around the corner. Uh, the TC West Titans are in Division I, Region I. They are going to be down at the Griff's Ice House down in Grand Rapids. And if you've ever been in there, it is an ice house. <laughs> Very cold rink. <laughs> but anyway, they are playing on uh, f Tuesday, February 26th against Grand Haven. Okay. And uh, so that's going to be their starting game. Who and are then some of the other teams in that uh, bracket? Uh, Muskegon, Reeves, Puffer. Um, oh, boy. Rockford. Yeah, Rockford is down there. Uh, There's one other. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of the. I'm trying uh, to think if it was a Muskegon team or not, but uh, now the puck is played by number 15. Who is that, Jeff, from Traverse City? Have we called? That's 15 Murphy. is Cam Herald. Uh, oh. No, for Traverse City. Oh, Murphy Traverse City. Kehoe. He's on the ice for his first shift. The puck is at center ice. Ian Lilly, number 13, takes a whack from uh, number nine. That's Luke Brady. A wraparound attempt. Is it in? Closing the pads quickly was Grigsby, and I think he kept it off that line. Yeah, and that, that is off the mooring. That was close. Who was that? Uh, Tonello sneaking one around from the backside. It, uh, let's or see. Was that uh, Fisher Moore, I believe. Moore. The Vikings are saying it snuck across the line, but... I think yeah, the goalie right. was kind of knocked in yeah. after the play, too. Yep, and then the uh, net came off its moorings. Yep. So good attempt there and a nice save by Grigsby. Okay, puck played over to Grant Lefebvre. The Vikings, Schmidtdale keeps it in momentarily. Now Lefebvre, number three, flips it up the boards, knocked down nicely, and coming down with it, trying to center. Traverse City at the blue line will take a shot. That one uh, got all the way through off the stick of Boudry. Essman, good defensive play by Fisher Moore. Essman is taken down by Moore again. Tonello battling in with Springstead. And do we have another penalty coming? It's gotta be. I think the players are saying, just let us play and yeah. hit a little bit here. Yep, they have uh, really called this uh, game tight tonight. That's Fisher Moore making his way into the box. And Fisher had a couple good defensive plays right before that. Scott Graham is uh, talking to uh, referee Chad Wilson. He's I don't reminding know. him this isn't a tennis match. This is a hockey game, probably. Right. Uh, I don't think he's asking him out for a <laughs> adult beverage after the game. So, all right, the faceoff will be deep in the Cadillac zone. Yeah, and they are killing off another one. 
This has got to be, what would you say, maybe 10 power plays for Traverse City? Yeah. Just eight, guessing. Eight, 8 to 10 range. Yep. In the slot is uh, Skirmerhorn, number 10. Essman is checked by Hayden Watkins. Puck is tied up along the board. That's just what the Vikings want to do is just keep it tied up. Jack Schmidtdale, he will ice it all the way down the ice. We have 12 minutes to go in the third period. It's one to one, Traverse City West Titans and the Cadillac Vikings from the Wex on a Monday night, cold Monday night yep. with a storm brewing for tomorrow. Rare Monday night hockey. Yeah, I feel like we're in the uh, Madison Square Gardens, Monday night hockey. Vikings will play it in the zone. They are shorthanded. First one, two, it's gonna be Watkins. Didn't get much on that shot. Alan Shear doing some good work in the corner. Yep, he's all by himself down there, causing a little disruption. Yep, here comes Nick Beeman, fires it into the zone. Essman lets it go back to the point to Lefave. Fave in the corner to Essman. He takes a hard hit from Austin Pendrick up high. He had to readjust his face mask. Vikings doing as much as they can to try to not let TC West get set up here. They're doing they, a good job playing perimeter. That yeah. shot makes it through, but it was a bad angle. Because they do move the puck around well. Here comes Essman. Essman down low, circling with it is Beeman. Beeman back to the point. Fake the shot coming in Tyler Essman. Pass to Beeman. Beeman holds on to it. Dishes it back to the point. That one goes all the way through, deflected over top of the net. Shear could not clear the puck, and now watch out because they've got a couple extra players now deep in the zone. The Vikings recover. Turning with it, blocked beautifully by Alan Shear, and he's going to fire it all the way down the ice. Coming out of the box is Fisher Moore. Grigsby doesn't see him, but now he's going to cover it up. Good kill by the Vikings, Jeff. Do we have yeah. a player profile ready to go? We well, do. well, next maybe maybe next stop. Yeah, we'll is your have play. to get it next stop. Okay, but uh, we can tell you that uh, our sponsors. Well, actually, oh, the yeah. Vikings are going to be. Uh, they're in Division Three, Region 19. They'll be playing down in Big Rapids on the 25th, opening up against uh, the Freeland team, which is a Tri Valley team from the Saginaw area. The Falcons. Big Rapids will also be down there against Midland Dow on that same night. There's some good teams in that bracket with uh, Midland Dow and right. Big Rapids. Yep, Mount and, Pleasant's um, down there, Flint Powers. Flint Powers has got a good team this year. Zach Izzard with the wrist shot wide of the net. Trying to hold it in and doing so is Eller. It's played by DeWalt and it goes up into the netting so we have a stoppage of play. We want to okay. go over. Go ahead, Jeff. Yep. So Nathan Moore, sophomore, he's uh, one of the Viking goalies. Nathan's parents are Mark and Nikki Moore. Brothers are Fisher and Dane Moore. Dylan Kindler and sister Lauren Knitz. Uh, besides playing hockey, Nathan plays tennis and baseball. Nathan's favorite things to do in his spare time is hang out with friends and play sports. Got to love that. Yep. His favorite athlete is Jimmy Howard. All right. After high school, Nathan plans on attending college. Congratulations to Nathan Moore on being one of our player profiles of the game. I've just, I've, it's hard to believe that none of these guys, like, you're their favorite athlete. I'm just waiting for Bill Dooley's name to come out with yeah. the uh, the favorite athlete. You know, it, uh, it is disappointing. You've <laughs> done a good show in the men's league, and, and it's for nothing. Yeah, well, <laughs> you'll get recognition one of these days. Yeah. I'm put I'm put sure. a push on for that. I'm sure. <laughs> Puck is played behind the net by the Titans. They play a little keep away and with 9.23 to go. A one-to-one one one tie. Josh Reese, number 17. And the Vikings will play it back to center ice. Here's a pass into Rickenberg. Rickenberg at the blue line. Sidesteps a man, gets it in a little bit deeper. And that one is held in nicely there by DeWalt, wide of the net. Brandon Eller is able to clear it all the way back as uh, Sawyer DeWalt, number 22, big defenseman. Intercepted, here comes Hayden Watkins. Watkins holds on, looking for Shear in the slot. Watkins gets it back. Alan Shear takes a shot, it was Blocked by DeWalt. DeWalt has it again. Yeah, a lot Vi of those shots not getting through. Cam Keen, that one is blocked. 
by number 12. That's uh, Boyven. And Austin Pendrick looks like he's going to rush it. He's yep. got a little bit of space. He gets around his man. He takes a shot, and Grigsby makes a save. Rebound. Another save by Grigsby. Boy, nice defend defending by Grigsby there. Cam Keen up to center ice. Keep this a tie game. Yeah, there was a change going on by the Titans, so uh, Hill didn't play the puck, or excuse me, Springstead didn't. Nick Beeman, number five. We've got uh, under eight minutes to go. Puck is behind the Viking net. Centering attempt, and right there is Van Newkirk, and he'll cover it up. It's still loose, and finally the whistle goes, and plowed over is Jason Hill by, was that Brian Farley? That <laughs> Bodies flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah, four, I Jason. was surprised. I thought Seth was going to uh, put his big mitt on the puck there in uh, Traverse City West. I wasn't sure what player it was, but they did end up getting a couple shot opportunities out of that. And a penalty. It must have been Geiger. Um when, oh on that boy. play when he, you know, cleared his man out. Let's see if we can. Now is he. So Geiger's coming out, and, and it is Farley. Yeah, yeah it I, is Farley. I thought it was Farley who took his man down, boy. but it was. You know, that's a good penalty it, to take. I, it was a penalty. Right. I mean, you know, when they're, when they're threatening to score, you do what you got to do to keep the puck out of the net. All right. But down go the Vikings again. Another power play for TC West. Uh, yeah, this has got to be close to about 10 penalties tonight. They have been, it seems like they've been on the power play half the night. I was looking down at Jill Farley there in front of the net. She was kind of rolling her eyes and saying, what, my son? He would never <laughs> do anything like that. Uh, She's still shaking her head. Yeah, now, the, now her other two boys, sure, we could probably agree <laughs> with that, but not, not, <laughs> not Brian. <laughs> Face off deep in Viking territory. Uh, West will go on the power play again. Here's Boutre. Boutre over to Barshev. Rink wide. One time shot blocked by Hayden Watkins. Where'd it go, Jeff? Oh, yeah, it deflected it nice way block. over. Went right back over to number six, Caleb Barshev. Springstead with a shot and covering up with Seth. Okay, we would like to uh, make sure and get our sponsors names out there. We've got Cadillac Castings, Fox Motors of Cadillac. Pizza Plus and Cadillac Tire. Thanks again for your support and bringing us uh, these games. And our crew tonight, Damian Brooks is up in the rafters. We have um, Aaron Dusa is on the north end. She was the one doing the, the pregame interview. And uh, Isabeau Granadas is on the south end. And Wyatt Van Dynen uh, is our director tonight. Thank you so much. They do a great job. Now back to the power play. Shot never got through. That one deflects way up into the netting. And another stoppage of play. All right. We would like to also remind everyone there are DVDs available for purchase, either single games or box sets, by contacting mynews26.com or calling the station at 231-577-1844. Sale of DVDs helps out with our production costs, including purchasing equipment and paying our directors and students. They make great stopping stuffers, graduation, or birthday gifts. And they also be great things for grandmas to have. Oh, yes, especially um, Grandma Beeman um, and Bar Chef. I think it was Puck is in this slot. And the Vikings, Brendan Phillips, chases it to center. Grant Lefebvre over to Josh Reese. Reese, it's an intercepted. Good job there by Austin Pendrick. Pendrick. Sidesteps his man, takes a slash, and never got through. And coming out, Grigsby will jump on it. The puck is loose and scores! Boy, I don't think Grigsby was quite able to uh, get that one smothered. And Cadillac was just going to the, uh, to the uh, whistle blows like you always tell your players. And yeah. you, uh, was that Alex? I think it might have been Leotard getting in there. We'll let you know when we get the official word. But or he seemed to be the happiest one out there. And sure first did. one to the... Uh, the hand line. Let's see if we can get a, a little bit of a slow mo on that one. But boy, it, it was kind of an innocent play to start right. with. And here comes a replay. Okay, yeah. let's get a look and see what number put this in. Okay. Puck is coming in. You can see Grigsby coming out. Oh, it comes out of his glove and then poked it right between the legs as Alex Leotard. Yep. What a great shot there by Wyatt Van Dynen. Good job, Wyatt. That was an excellent catch. Yeah, nice. 
And uh, Alex Leotart gets the go-ahead goal with a uh, little over six minutes to go. And I uh, don't want to mention it, but Alex was our pregame <laughs> Our guest at the yes, pregame. Yes, he was. So and, you know, remember earlier he he uh, dinged one off the uh, crossbar, right in the corner there. So he wasn't able to connect there, but that hustle definitely paid off. Puts the Vikings up two to one. And that was a short-handed goal, Bill. Which you know, what are the odds? They've been short-handed half the night. <laughs> right. Yeah, the Vikings looking really good on the penalty kill tonight. And here comes uh, Skimmer Horn. He'll put it in behind the net. Austin Pendrick, who kind of set that last one up. This time he gives it away. Adam Boudre will boom one, and uh, Seth has got it in his glove. He looks at it just to make sure. Yeah, that was headed for the back of the net if he didn't get his glove up there. Nice job by Seth Van Newkirk. And I tell you what, you know, it's 2-1, to one and he's a big reason why tonight. Our uh, big north standings, uh, Jeff, we have Alpina Wildcats at 5-1 and one atop of the pack. Followed closely by Petoskey at 4-2-1 with 9 points. TC Central is right there in third place with 8 points at 4-3. Gaylord has 7 points, is 3-2-1. You've got TC West and then Cadillac to finish it out. But between yeah. the top four teams, you've got, here comes uh, Alan Shear. Tries to pull it around. He's taken down. You got a penalty shot? It could be. We'll have to wait and see if oh. they're going to call a penalty. He's shaking his head. I thought for sure that might be oh. a penalty shot because he really oh. never got a shot he off. He didn't. No. And that is one of the deciding, he, determining factors. He, and he may have got him from the side a little bit, not totally from behind. So um, I don't know if they're talking about it right now. Yes, they are talking about it, but uh, it's good to see the referees confer. Mm -hmm. And uh, Max Jenner is just going to call a two-minute hooking. And so now the Vikings will, uh, who was the, who got the penalty? It was Nick Beeman? Yep, Nick Beeman, number five. Right? Yeah, but again, that's not a bad penalty to oh, take, no, uh, no. especially with the puck on Alan Shear stick. Yeah, he is a, he's a sniper, and you do not want to let him alone. Now it should be an icing call. It is. And that's going to hurt because now the Vikings with a, a minute 54 will get to set up in the west zone. Why is that an icing call? They're shorthanded. No, they were they were even strength when they, oh, okay. when they iced it and there was one second left in the penalty. Okay, gotcha. So My bad. the Vikings, Fisher Moore takes the draw and Josh Reese up the boards, kept in nicely by Austin Pendrick to Shear. Shear took a hit from Reese. Oh, knocked down <laughs> hard there, and there's yeah. some big Alan going on. Alan it. Yes, he did. Vikings keep it in. Fisher Moore tried to thread the needle, and uh, holding on to it is Grigsby. The Vikings are up 2-1 to one with 5.22 to go in the game and a power play for the Vikings. Yeah, and that's a little bit different line. They had Alan uh, Shear out with Fisher Moore and Brian Farley, so mm -hmm. a little bit different combination there. Yep. Uh, Scott Graham trying to throw a little wrinkle in and trying to create something here. And now you've got Leotard, Watkins, and Tonello, along with Schmidt Deal and Pendrick. And the penalty killers for Traverse City is uh, Boivin. And we'll get that in just a moment. Wilson is out there, too. Here comes Alex Leotard. He shoots one right along the ice. The rebound is covered up. Ooh, nice face-off win by the Vikings to get that opportunity. More than likely, if the Titans end up getting that face-off, it goes down to the other end. So now the Vikings, with a uh, minute 22 to go in the power play, putting some good pressure on. Josh Reese is out there. Uh, excuse me, Ryan Leslie. Is that number se oh, 17? That's Josh Reese. Good keep in by Pendrick. Over to Schmidtdale. He'll take the shot, and it hit the post. He rang it off the post. Yeah, he had that spot picked. Clearing it down the ice is the Titans. And... Uh, Vikings look for a change. Nope, I thought Watkins was coming off. All right, they like to bring four back deep and hang one out by the blue line. Good poke check by Rickenberg. Right at center ice. Derek Tonello will put it back to his defense. Tonello let it go through. The other player thought he was going to catch it. Now Alex Leotard with some good speed in the corner. Yep. He's Alex knocked has out. really been working hard tonight. We have an icing call or a penalty? 
Icy. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I, I saw the hand go up, and I'm, I'm almost gun yeah. with all the penalties Those tonight. Those arms have been up most of the night with the uh, orange armbands. Actually, is Reese going to the penalty box? Yes, he is. Okay, so Jeff, yeah. it was a penalty. Josh Reese heading to the box. I, uh, interference call? Yes, yes, interference. I thought it was an icing. You okay. okay. had their hands up for icing. So this is a new one for the night. We've got a five on three. Okay. No, it's a new combo. Vikings can really get a little breathing a little room little here. A little breathing room right here. It's a one-shot game right now. And this could be a big kill for the Titans. They have Schmidtdale and Shear with Ian Lilly. Ian Lilly with the shot that's knocked away by Grigsby. Back to Penrick. Penrick thought better of it. He'll pass it over to Schmidtdale. He'll take the shot. Short side knocked away by Grigsby. Who's the penalty killers? We've got uh, Lefebvre out there. And Lefebvre does a nice job of getting the puck loose. There's Boyvin and also Adam Boudry are the, the three penalty killers. Now it's okay. back to a four or five on four. Five on four for the Vikings for another minute 17. And a good uh, play there by Traverse City to get it all the way down the ice. All right, good job on that five on three. Austin Pendrick, number six. Here's a pass to Lilly, just a little bit behind him, but Hayden Watkins will keep it in. Watkins plays it to Jack Schmidtdale. Got a good bounce off of that. Right. Pendrick will play them behind the net. Alan Shear leaves it for Leotard. And it comes out to center ice. Players are battling hard right now, and the Vikings will come over, shoot it wide of the net. Nick Beeman, number five, yep. stopped by Watkins. We're down to under 30 seconds left in the power play for the Vikings. And the puck will be shot in. Grigsby it rides up the stick, and he'll hold on to it with 2.40 to go here in the third period. And, uh, yeah, and he was extra sure to uh, make sure and have that one tight in the grips. So we, uh, we want to get our sponsors one more shout out here, Jeff. Okay, we got Cadillac Castings, Fox Motors of Cadillac, Pizza Plus, and Cadillac Tire. And thanks again for your sponsorship. Back to the action. Traverse City will send it down the ice. Like you said, they are only one shot away from tying this game up with two and a half minutes to go. We are coming to you from the Wex and Cadillac. Big North Conference action between these two longtime foes, intercepted now by Nick Beeman. Nick Beeman is one on three. And we will be keeping an eye on Max Grigs <coughs> Grigsby as the Titans may end up uh, pulling him off the ice to get the extra skater out there. Uh, linesman will stop the play, and I don't know if we have a hand pass or what, but it's going to come back into the Viking zone, so I would assume it was a hand pass. Our uh, right. next hockey broadcast will be February 20th against Sheboygan. And uh, Jeff, we've got lots of girls basketball, high school basketball action coming up. I think five games in the next two weeks. They've been getting a lot of cancellations, but the girls basketball team is undefeated in the Big North. Yeah, and, that's uh, something. and I think they're 10 and 1 overall. That puck is way up into the rafters, so Coach. Uh, uh, Mike McLaurin is is doing a great job with the girls' basketball program. Sounds like it. What an awesome season that is, and hopefully they can take that momentum right into the playoffs and uh, get far. Let's oh, yeah. Say. And uh, you want to tune in uh, to Mr. Dan Gussert. He does a great job uh, calling the basketball games. That shot it gets all the way through. Seth made the save. Back to the point is Nick Beeman. It is five-on-five five hockey right now. The Vikings will clear it. And the Ian Lilly was uh, aiming. Was he, was he aiming for you, Bill? I think it was you. <laughs> uh, but I was going to dive in. in I'm sure, yeah, you would have stepped gonna, in front of that. I was going to take one for, yeah. my, for my partner here if I had to. Mm -hmm. Didn't say I had to, but I would have. Okay, so Max Grigsby has made his way to the bench. That is going to Time give, out. That is going to give the Titans uh, six forward skaters out there as they have pulled their netminder. 
We'll see if uh, Coach uh, Rentilla will call timeout. Not, not at this point. No, he might want to save that. Mm -hmm. 147 to go here in the third period. It's 2-1 to one Cadillac with the lead. All right, important face-off here for both teams. Behind the net, up the boards, keeping it in is Grant Lefebvre. Now Austin Pendrick is poke-checked. Good job there by Hayden Watkins to put the pressure on. Caleb Barshev, that one deflects over the, eye, over the net. And they're going to say that it hit a Cadillac stick. All right, and once again, we would like to remind you the production of this sports presentation is a cooperation between Wexford Masaki ISD, CCTV, and My News 26. Students under the supervision of a professional director run cameras and assist in graphics, replay, and directing. Thank you to everyone involved. It's a great program they've got going for those kids. It sure is. Now the Vikings are battling in the corner. That's uh, Skimmer Horn for Traverse City. Beeman over to Lefebvre. Lefebvre's going to wind up, and Seth, There's sees Seth again. It. Yep. He sees it. Yeah, Traverse City's going to need to get a little bit more traffic out in front. Uh, pretty much everything Seth has seen tonight, he's been able to stop. Yeah, he has been on his game, and he really is the difference right now. Now there will be a timeout called by Traverse City West Titans uh, coach uh, Rintela, and... Um, this will give us a chance to uh, give a shout out to our crew. We've got uh, Damian Brooks on the camera up in the rafters, as we call it. We've got Erin Dusa on the north camera. She'll be also covering the, the post game show. And uh, Isabeau Granadas is down on the south end, waving over there to Isabeau. <laughs> and she's, she's engrossed in, in the game. And then our director is Wyatt Van Dynan. And again, we would like to remind everybody the. Uh, Silent Observer Hockey Game Fundraiser between the Cadillac Area Law Enforcement and the Fighting Fish Cops. <laughs> Isn't that great? What, what does that logo look I, like? I'm just Jeff? waiting to see the uh, jerseys. Yes, yeah, the, the uh, jersey with the logo yep, on it. Exactly, but uh, that's going to take place right here at the WEX, February 16th. And uh, the silent auction begins at 5.30. Pre-hockey game activities at 6.30. Game begins at 7. Uh, the silent auction is going to end up uh, starting off at about 8.30, so they've got all kinds of activities going on there. And uh, to many people's delight, there will be food, snacks, beverages, including a cash bar all right. available. I don't know if we'll be able to get a uh, signed Bill Dooley stick out there to auction off, but that could bring in some serious cash, I they're, would think. Well, they're trying to raise money, yeah. not to <laughs> scare people away. So uh, what do we have? We have the goalie pulled for Traverse City, so it's going to be a six-on-five situation. And the Vikings, Hayden Watkins, will take the draw against uh, Michael Schemerhorn. Vikings have uh, dominated the faceoff dot tonight. Alan Shear almost cleared it, uh, cleared it, and Seth will hold on to that one, so there's going to be a faceoff now on the other side of the net with a minute four to go. Yeah, he's not going to take any chances. Anything he can get his uh, mitts on, he's going to keep. They'll take a face off any time, especially with the way their centers have been uh, taking the draws tonight. Excuse me. That's Hayden Watkins in Watkins. there. He wins it back. Traverse City gets it, though. Nick Beeman in the corner. It's tied up with uh, Phillips, and now they'll play it back to Barshev. Barshev over to Lefebvre. Lefebvre's just going to get it to the front of the net. Never made it through. Vikings do clear it. And here comes some speed from Hayden Watkins as he tries to take his man off the puck. Wow, look at him work. Oh, man, working hard. And coming back the other way is Nick Beeman. Puck is knocked back in on a delayed, but it's going to go behind the net. This is eating up valuable seconds. Barshev up the boards. The Vikings... We'll just knock it back in. It's going to be a delayed offside, but they don't care at this point. No, nice job by seniors, Alan Shear and Hayden Watkins, to make all that happen. The Vikings get the puck. They're going to flip it up high this time. It's going towards the net. Is it going to make it in? It will. I think that was that, Austin Pendrick. That was Austin Pendrick. I'm not sure he was actually trying to score. He was just trying to keep the puck away. And uh, sometimes the puck just bounces your way. That's right. And he's going to tell coach that I, I, I saw the net, I teed it up, and put it in the middle. Yep. So that should ice it for the Vikings. It sends the, uh, the Cadillac Crazies uh, streaming towards the concession stands. And the Vikings are going to sweep 
the uh, season series with the with the Titans, and yeah. that hasn't happened, I wouldn't think, too often, Jeff. No, not too often at all. Uh, young team for Traverse City this year, uh, but really good hockey game tonight. Oh, excellent game. These two teams are, are looking strong for the playoffs. At center ice with two seconds to go, the clock will wind down, and that'll end it here between the Cadillac Vikings and the Traverse City West Titans, and the Vikings will walk off with a 3-1 to hard-fought victory, and uh, you'd have to say that uh, Seth Van Newkirk has uh, probably got the number one star status. Uh, yeah, I would say so. They're mobbing him right now, and he is definitely the reason that they only have uh, one on the board. And actually, you know, the one was, uh, you know, one oh, of those yeah. goals that bounced off uh, a deflection a off the deflection off of their own players. Hayden so. Watkins, so. All right. Well, we'll we'll get uh, we're going to get Seth for a, a post game interview. That'd be that'd be a couple in a row for him. That's right. And uh, the Vikings are shaking hands. Um, the final score here is the Cadillac Vikings three and the Traverse City West Titans one. Uh, we would invite you to stay tuned for the post game show with the interview with the winning goaltender Seth Van Newkirk. You are watching high school hockey action on 26 Sports and CCTV. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. 